In this video, we'll be creating our own custom package for Unity's Package Manager and hosting it on GitHub. The Unity Package Manager, or UPM, is the official package management system for Unity. The Package Manager is a modular and dynamic software and asset delivery system. You can use the Package Manager to define project dependencies, resolve package dependencies, download and add packages as needed, and integrate content in your projects. A UPM package is a folder with a specific and standardized layout. It is important that UPM packages adhere to the Unity package standards for them to function properly. This means making sure your package follows the recommended folder layout and version labeling format. In this video, we'll be creating a custom package following best practices. A package is a container that stores various types of features or assets. It should be fully self-contained and include all required assets for the package to function properly. Many different features and assets can be distributed in packages. Common uses include editor tools and libraries, like for example a text editor, an animation viewer, or test frameworks. Runtime tools and libraries, like a physics API or a graphics pipeline. Asset collections, such as textures or animations. In this example, we have created an editor tool that we would like to share as a package. We've created our tool in its own Unity project. This tool adds a new menu item under Edit, Create Parent for Selected. This tool allows us to select several objects in the hierarchy and then click Edit, Create Parent for Selected to create a new empty parent game object for the selected objects. We'll make a package for this Create Parent tool so we'll be able to use it in other Unity projects and share it with other developers. First, we will need to create the folder layout for our package. The best practice of a package requires you to follow the layout anatomy and folder structure and provide all necessary documentation as well as readme files and change logs. Open the packages folder of your Unity project in your file explorer. You can do this by right-clicking the packages folder in the project window and selecting Open in Explorer on Windows or Reveal in Finder on Mac OS. In the Packages folder, create a new subfolder for your custom package and give it your package's name. In the subfolder, we will need a package JSON file that describes the package and its dependencies. You can create the package JSON file using your code editor, or you can use the example package JSON file, which is linked in the description below. Once you've created your packages folder, it will appear in the Unity Editor's project view under Packages. We can now move all the files we want as part of our custom package into our new custom package folder. It is recommended to follow the package layout convention. In this example, we have a single editor script, so we'll create an empty editor folder and move our script to it. If you'd like more information on package layout convention, visit the documentation on package layout, which is linked in the description below. Once we've set up our package contents, we need to edit the package.json manifest file to describe the package and its dependencies so that other users will be able to use our package safely. Inside your custom package folder, select the package.json file to view its contents in the inspector. We can edit the package.json file in the inspector and fill out all the fields. You will need to fill out the name, description, version, and compatible Unity versions as well as any other package dependencies that your package relies on to function properly. It is important to follow naming and version format conventions. If you'd like more information on the manifest file and each of its fields, visit the package manifest documentation linked below. If your custom package has scripts, you must associate scripts inside a package to an assembly definition file of the type asmdef. Assembly definition files are the Unity equivalent of a C-sharp project in the .NET ecosystem. You will need to create one ASMDEF file for the editor-specific code and one for the runtime-specific code. You will also need to create a separate ASMDEF file for your package tests if you've created them. For more information on package ASMDEF conventions, visit the documentation linked below. In our example, we only have one editor folder. Right-click and choose Create Assembly Definition. Name your ASMDEF according to the convention, which is companyname.featureName.editor. These should match what you've placed inside your package JSON previously. Finally, if you intend to distribute your package, it is recommended to add a license MD file 
and a third-party notices MD file. For more information on these files, please visit the Meeting Legal Requirements documentation on packages linked below. In this example, we've added an open source license MD file based on the MIT license. Our custom package is complete. Let's share it. There are many ways you can distribute your package. At its simplest, you can zip up your custom package folder and send the zip file wherever you'd like. Then, in any compatible Unity project, you can add the package to the package manager as a zip file using add package from disk. We can also distribute your package through a Git repository, such as GitHub or GitLab. By distributing our package through our Git repository, anyone who wants to use your package can download our package directly from the package manager using its Git URL. Note that Git must be installed on the user's machine for the package manager to be able to use Git URLs. Git can be installed by using the official Git installer or by installing a version control software such as GitHub Desktop. For more information, visit the documentation page on Git URLs linked in the description below. Let's take a look at distributing our package through a Git repository. For this example, we will be using GitHub, but the package manager is compatible with other Git-based services. In our GitHub account, let's create a new repository for our package. Add the Git Ignore for Unity, and we can select a license here. Let's click Create Repository, and now our Git repo is up and running. We can now add our package files into our repository. We can do this by using a Git client, or we can do it on the website by clicking Upload Files on your repository's main page. Now let's upload and commit all the contents of our custom package, including the meta files. If the meta files do not appear in the package folder, let's change them to be visible inside the Unity editor under Edit, Project Settings, Editor, Version Control, Mode, Visible Meta Files. With the completed package repository, we can now share our package easily. On GitHub, we can get the direct Git URL by clicking Clone or Download and then copying the URL provided. Then, in any compatible Unity project, open Window, Package Manager, and click Add Package from Git URL and paste in the URL. Note that installing packages through the Git URL feature requires Git to be installed on the machine. The Package Manager will clone the package from the repository and install it as a package into the project. For more details, visit the documentation on Git URLs and the Package Manager. We hope you enjoy sharing your packages directly from your Git repositories. We can't wait to see all the custom packages you create. Thanks for watching.